Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. It's the Empress here and in today's video we are going to be looking at messages from the dearly departed, messages from our passed on loved ones. So go ahead, grab yourself a notebook if you feel called to do so, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, pull up a chair, and sit for a spell. Okay guys, so here we have the pile selection out in front of us, and starting off here, for anyone who is interested, I am burning some sweet grass, frankincense, and opium. Um, sweet, sweet grass I find very good for connecting to ancestors or passed on loved ones, as well as opium I find very, very beneficial for connecting to your abilities, like connecting to the mediumship abilities, and the frankincense is of course very protective and healing, so that is why I have those for anyone who is interested, but, um, let's get into our card selection here so i'm going to uh start off here by saying we have pile number one two three and four and in today's video we are going to be looking at uh who is coming through for you as well as what this person's kind of greater purpose or mission was in their lifetime and what you were meant to learn from their passing, uh, potentially the reason behind their passing, and what you are meant to use with what you've gained from this soul, um, what they want you to know, how they want you to use what you've gained, uh, as well as their kind of greater memories or memories including you. Uh, it, and we are also going to be looking at uh, what they need from you currently um, as a part of why they're coming through for you today. And we <clears throat> are going to be going pretty deep into this and we will kind of finish this reading out with what kind of advice or final messages or words they have for you. Um, so with all of that being said, I'm going to ask you guys to take a few deep breaths and really try to ground yourself, try to ground your energy, um, try to calm your mind, and really ask yourself what soul is coming through for you today, or keep your intention on the soul that you would like to come through today as well. Um, and once you have done that, go ahead and choose a pile, and I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each specific reading in the description box below, along with the links to the cards that I'm using for anyone who is interested in that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to pile number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose card number one, this reading is for you, and we are going to jump right into this. So starting off here, for you guys, this first card is going to show us um, about the soul that is coming through for you, and then we will shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So starting off here for you guys, we have the Keeper of Whispers, the Mad Prophet. Uh, curiosity, madness, and forbidden knowledge. So I feel for a lot of you guys that this particular soul may have seemed kind of disturbed in this lifetime, may have, and not so much even like in a very negative way, but they may have just seemed kind of off, especially in the mind. Um, they may have thought about a lot of things that were very out of the normal, I guess, people would perceive them as somebody who thought or talked a lot about things that aren't necessarily what people consider to be normal, which is very interesting, um, as well as for some of you guys, this soul, while they were alive here, could have been um, even kind of angry um, in in their physical life, <clears throat> and, and if so, if that 
message is for you, then the purpose behind their anger was they felt like they would be perceived as crazy if they were honest or open. So let's go ahead and see what this person's kind of greater purpose was in this lifetime, in their lifetime. Okay. So we have root and connection. And I feel like this person that's coming through here, this person was kind of somebody who held their family together even though they may have mentally seemed off. Um, somebody who, I feel like when this person passed, a lot of the immediate family or a lot of the people around you um, kind of dispersed. Um, this person was like the, the thread that held everything together even though they may have been perceived as somebody who was angry or somebody who just seemed kind of mentally off. Um, but I feel like their purpose here was to hold that thread together, to hold everything together like while they were here. <clears throat> That's truly that was truly like their soul's purpose here on this earth was to play that role. So let's see what you guys were meant to learn from this because I feel for you guys that it is quite significant. The soul com that's coming through, it, it's very strong and it seems important like not so much in an urgent way but this knowledge is very important for you on your journey <laughs> we have osiris heavenly messages so i feel for a lot of you guys here a big part a big message that this soul is trying to convey to you is that they want you to open up to your own mediumship abilities. Um, as well as for some of you guys, you are now meant to be the person who holds everything together. And they want you to communicate with them about that. About what that means <clears throat> for you in your life. As well as for a lot of you guys, you were this this particular passing was meant to teach you a lot about what it means for ener energy to transform. I feel like a lot of people who chose this pile are in a very spiritual kind of phase of your life, or you're diving into your spirituality at the time that you're watching this video, and you guys are truly meant to learn from this passing. Um, in regards to how energy doesn't get destroyed, it transforms, and learning how to find that familiar energy again instead of living in a way where it no longer exists. Um, and this, okay. Um, so this person's passing, I feel, may have seemed like it was too soon. Um, that may be a big part of your guys' kind of struggle in your life now is that it, it just felt like it was too soon and that you missed out on certain things. Um, and I feel like this person's passing was something that was affecting them for quite a while, whether it be an illness or more of an addiction even. I feel it was something that progressed it wasn't something it wasn't sudden it doesn't feel like it was sudden it feels like it was over a period of time that this passing kind of built up let's pull a clarifier card for that yeah see we 
we have the Eight of Swords. So definitely something that built up. And, and for a lot of these people, or a lot of you guys here, um, this soul, this... It was in the mind. Again, the mind is coming up. And this could be, like I said, in the form of an addiction or an Ill illness um, of the mind even. Or an illness that affected the mind in some way, shape, or form was definitely, definitely um, a large role in this person's passing, if not the the definite cause. Uh, so let's take a look here at this spirit's memories. Love, yeah. This person was definitely somebody who held everything together, um, and and they love you. They they was somebody who cared very deeply for you, and this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be, um, but it doesn't have to be. This could be like um, a father coming through, or a, it is. It does feel like a masculine energy. Um, But the, the, the memories they have for you and of your guys' life and connection is love. Even if it didn't seem that way while they were alive, it definitely is. And then we also have sweets. Yeah, so for... What I'm seeing with this is definitely like husband or father type energy. It's like the wedding cake or allowing the child to have dessert. Like this is um, very strong. This energy is very strong and they loved you guys very deeply. Um, it was a very deep love, but their mind is definitely something that they struggled with in this life while they were here. So let's go ahead here and get into your guys' tarot. And see kind of how you're meant to use what you've gained and uh, just more about what the spirit wants you to know. So we have the Eight of Chalices. Okay, so they do... They do want you guys to release the emotional burden that you're carrying in regards to their passing. Um, they want you to find how to how to do that or how to come into forgiveness, even for some of you guys, forgiveness of this person, um, in order to release the emotional kind of trauma of their passing. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And... I'm really feeling for a lot of you guys that this is this is kind of what they want from you. They want you to put the work in in order to come into forgiveness, in order to let this connection go. Um, a lot of you guys may even have kind of built a wall between your emotions regarding between yourself and your emotions regarding this passing. Um, kind of a very numb feeling coming through, and. That makes it very hard for them to connect with you. They also don't want you to be scared to try to connect with them. Um, some of you guys may carry a fear in regards to trying to connect to this particular soul because of who they were in this lifetime. And they are definitely coming through saying don't be scared because it's going to be a very loving connection. This soul is also telling me that they they wish they would have shared with you the connections and the mediumship abilities and the knowledge that they had while they were here, but they feared it. And also kind of this energy of they felt crazy, they felt like nobody would believe them, they felt like they couldn't share it, and... They're here trying to help you through that process. They, like All I keep hearing is, I wish I would have had somebody teach me about this 
while I was alive and and that is what they are coming through to do for you because they don't want you to live in that same way and then we have the fool yeah so for a lot of you guys this mediumship is very new as well as for a lot of you guys um, this passing may even be kind of recent or feel very recent still like it may you may still be in the beginning processes of your grieving um, or may have never even started that process again kind of this numbness coming through but also Again, this message of not being afraid of connecting because it's going to be a new connection. It's not going to be the same connection that you had while you guys were alive. Even though it could have been very loving for some of you guys, it's going to be even better than that. Um, and for those of you that it was more of a negative connection or more of um, an angry kind of person in their lifetime it's it's definitely not going to be that it is going to be a very loving connection and they want to support you and help you grow and then we have the star yeah they want to lead you toward your blessings they want to lead you toward your purpose and they want to lead you toward what it is that they couldn't walk towards while they were alive and for a lot of you guys here, again, this heavy sense of spirituality, a lot of you guys here may be meant to even work or really thrive or dive into your spiritual abilities, um, working in that field or even working with mediumship, um, even if your job isn't necessarily uh, related to actually giving mediumship readings or things like that it could still be helping people process grief in some way shape or form I feel that for a lot of people here you guys are meant to help other people heal in some way shape or form it could even be in the mind um, and and helping people in particular that were like this soul that's coming through that were fearful of their abilities or kept their abilities locked away or restricted um, that perceived their abilities as kind of more of a mental illness And then we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, so this person really wants you guys to come into victory over the emotional attachments, especially the more emotional attachments of your guys' connection. They want you to come into forgiveness of yourself and of them. They want you to overcome this blockage that's here. Um, but they're saying that you guys have to step into it as well. You have to step into it openly. You have to surrender to it openly in order to thrive. And then we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, see, and this is where the conflict is in a lot of you guys. This is the conflict in regards to your own kind of purpose here. As I spoke about before, this is conflict in you guys stepping into the work and the road that's ahead of you in order to overcome this kind of emotional trauma. And for a lot of you guys with the Five of Wands here, as I talked about, this person may have been somebody who very, even though they, they weren't perceived as that person, they were the ones who held the family together or held the group together. And with this Five of Wands coming out, I feel for a lot of you guys here that this family or this group is in disconnect or disagreement or in conflict currently. And then we have the Two of Swords on top of the Fool. Yeah, um, the Spirit saying you guys aren't going to be able to see where you're going if you just stay in the same place. You're not going to be able to see where this is taking you if you don't move forward. You, you can't have the answers until you move past this blockage. That's a very strong message coming in for you guys. 
And then our last tarot card here is the Seven of Wands coming out on the star. So we have five, six, and seven here. And for a lot of you guys, you're truly you're truly meant to overcome this. You're truly meant to come into a larger sense of movement, taking bigger steps here, um, and and not being afraid of falling. Um, look at this. Let me set these down. The star card here, like. Don't be afraid of falling. Take the steps anyways. Take the risks anyways. Don't be afraid of failure because that teaches you something. A lot of you guys here, this is definitely this kind of emotional restriction, this emotional blockage in regards to healing, um, especially in regards to the passing on of this soul is truly keeping you in conflict of your own soul and of your own purpose here. So let's go ahead here and see how you guys can connect with this soul um, and see any last messages or advice that they may have for you at this time. And we have the animal kingdom. So for some of you guys here, you may have a pet that was this person, this person's while they were alive, or you may be very drawn to animals, particular kinds of animals. Um, and the soul wants you to connect to that energy because as I was talking about before, you guys are being asked to learn how energy transforms and to find that familiar energy. And for a lot of you guys whom this person was, was the soul who, who kind of held everything threaded together, um, animals have a very kind of similar energy and you're being asked to find the energy that is the most similar in order to connect to the soul. So let's get our last words or messages from the spirit. Yeah, we have creating and writing. So you guys are definitely meant to create something um, in this lifetime. You're meant to, this is really screaming the kind of wands energy to me right now. Like you guys are, are meant to come into your purpose of what you're meant to do, what you're meant to create in this lifetime. Um, and some of you guys, it may be writing, it may be writing a book or creating um, something like that, as well as this soul is telling me that there is a large ability for manifestation in scripting. So for some of you guys here, if you've ever felt called to scripting or like calligraphy or um, like writing your uh, spells or intentions or manifestations um, in that way, this is a definite yes because that will be a very um, beneficial energy for you guys in regards to your manifestations. But this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number one. If this resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know how it resonated, let me know what else you guys want to see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose pile number two, this reading is for you and we are going to jump right in here and starting off, we are going to be looking at the, so the soul that is coming through for you today and then we will shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So our, we have Abraham, justice of pandemonium, justice, truth, and duty. Okay, so this is kind of more of a strict soul that's coming through here.
as well as for some of you guys, a uh, message that's coming through here is that this person has balanced their karma. Um, but this is a very strict, strict is the word that keeps coming to my mind. This is a very strict soul, or you viewed this person as very strict, or they felt like they may have been too strict. Interesting. So let's pull another card here and see a little bit more about who this soul is and what their kind of purpose was in their lifetime here. Okay. We have Angel of Rain. It is raining right now as I'm recording this. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and pull a clarifier for this card. A lot of this soul, okay, so this soul um, really came here, like their lifetime, their purpose here was to clear away something in particular. Now this could play out one of two ways for some of you guys. Either they were meant to kind of bring in justice. This person may have came into your life in a way that brought you into a more safe or true version of yourself as well as for some of you guys this person taught you what injustice was or uh, what dishonesty or um, that kind of energy was and this could have been how they lived or how they projected themselves or it could have been through the events around you guys but there is a large sense of kind of this person came in and cleared away something in your life or they created kind of cycles or karmatic energy for you and as they passed out of this life um, theirs was cleared for fulfilling their kind of mission here interesting let's get this clarifier here we have the two of wands yeah so okay so for a lot of you guys this soul that was here may have been somebody as well who stood by and watched injustice happen um, and for a lot of you guys, you may still be kind of carrying emotional energy in regards to this injustice, in regards to this dishonesty, or in regards to feeling betrayed by someone who's supposed to uh, protect you or make you feel safe in some way, shape, or form, as well as you may carry anger towards the soul for passing on too soon or before you were ready for them to. So let's go ahead here and see what you guys are kind of meant to learn from this passing. We have air spirit. Yeah, and that's really the energy I got with this card is air spirit. This is truth. This is honesty. This is higher self. This is higher dimensions. This is um, communication as well. Um, so a lot of you guys are meant to learn about justice or truth or learn about where you're meant to go in regards to your own truth, in regards to what's justice, what's uh, just or fair for you. Um, Let's go a little deeper into this and find out kind of uh, the energy around this person's passing. We have Queen of My World. And I really feel just, there's this energy of, it's very strict or angry or aggressive. Um, There's also the energy of taking their own life coming through here for some of you guys. 
there was two cards that came out here. We have Obsession. So for some of you guys here, this was an addiction or um, a lifestyle that caused this passing. And for some of you guys, the energy that's coming through here is the energy of taking their own life. Um, even if it wasn't in the normal way, it was like um, the, their, their mindset about their passing that kind of brought on this energy um, or, or their need to be in control of how it was that that happened as well. Um, so there's a lot of mental energy here, a lot of... This person may have been very resistant to their own higher self while they were still alive, um, as well as very, as I brought up the kind of strict energy earlier, it may have been kind of more controlling for some of you guys as well. Um, a very strict kind of controlling, need to be in control kind of energy coming through here. So let's take a look at some of the memories that the soul holds of you or what they want you to remember. Wealth. So this person could have been, it, it could have been in regards to money as well. Um, this person could have been very obsessed with the idea or a certain lifestyle that, um, really kind of initiated or caused their passing, but um, this person wants you to know that they think very highly of you. They, they as well as self-worth coming through, this person may have been somebody who kind of altered your own perception of your own self-worth while they were alive. Um, But whomever this is, they think very highly of you. They think that you are a very beautiful soul. And then we have house. Yeah, see, and it's that, oh, it, this could have been a spouse. For some of you guys, and we also have number 31 and number 13 here. Um, which is interesting. So this could have, this this soul I feel is somebody that you lived with in your lifetime, um, like physically lived with in the same household. Um, and for those of you whom this is more of a father energy coming through, this person um, could have kind of taught you a lot about finances um, in regards to running a household. And then we also have obedience, yeah. So there's definitely like some control or narcissism or strict kind of energy. And this could be a spouse for some of you guys, but also a very masculine energy, a very kind of parental energy coming through here too. And this doesn't mean it has to be a man. It, it could have been a woman as well, but that had a very aggravated masculine energy or a very inflated ego <clears throat> while they were alive here. So let's go ahead and get into some tarot for you guys and go a little deeper into what they want you to know at this time that you view this video. room. So that may mean something to some of you guys here, um, especially those of you whom this is more of like a father or a pr parent or guardian type energy coming through for you. Um, as well as I'm hearing that some of you guys maybe 
were sent away as a child to live with somebody else um, or even possibly to uh, foster care or orphanage because of this person's obsession or addiction or lifestyle. So our first card out here is the Six of Wands. Okay, so this soul really wants you guys to overcome what they have inflicted on you. Um, and, and overcoming that is going to move you towards your own abundance as well. And then we have the Eight of Chalices. Yeah, this is the uh, emotional release, releasing old emotional um, baggage or trauma. And a lot of you guys have a lot of um, kind of stagnant emotions in regards to the soul, in regards to the way you were treated, or it, in regards to the way you have lived since they passed, or just this sense of... There was some, so even if this wasn't the constant way of this soul, for some of you guys, this is a an, a particular event that occurred while they were here um, that caused emotional trauma. And for some of you guys, it could have been aggressive. It could have been out of anger or um, an event such as being sent away from your home um, that it really needs to be released. Um, and for some of you guys, you may not have even thought about it for such a long time that you maybe even just forgot it was there or convinced yourself it wasn't. Um, so there is a need to kind of deal with some of the emotional energy that you still hold um, in regards to this soul that's coming through. And then we have judgment, yeah. So laying your past to rest, finally stepping out of your past, um, closing the door, closing the door. Yeah, so this is going to be very major for you guys once you can come into this um, healing energy and this closing the door, um, releasing this emotional trauma. It's going to really propel you guys forward. For some of you guys, you may be trying to work on manifesting money or a new home or a new career. And I feel for you guys that, that this emotional healing is going to play a very large part in that manifestation. So this person may have had a very large effect on your mind or the way you think of yourself with this air spirit here. And that was kind of like their purpose in regards to your guys' connection um, in order for you to experience how to come up out of that energy like this. And I'm, I mean, I know for some of you guys that may sound horrible, that may sound so bad, but there is an... an a need to experience kind of the more negative aspect of your own self-worth in order to understand um, or come into the truth uh, um, and the knowing of the truth of your own self-worth. Um, our next card out here is the King of Swords. Yeah, so this, you guys may be very cold or bitter towards this person, or this person could have been very cold or bitter towards you while they were still alive at some point in time. It does not necessarily mean that they had to be that all the time, but when they were, it greatly affected you in a, on a level that I don't feel a lot of you guys have recognized to the deepest extent yet. But you were coming into that. And then we have the Ace of Chalices coming out. Yeah, and this is the new emotion that's trying to come in to help you guys with this manifestation that you are working towards. Um, this new emotional energy, making room for new emotional energy is truly what you guys are being asked to do. That's what this soul is coming forth to, to 
to talk to you about to move you towards So for a lot of you guys, too, um, you may not have really noticed, like, when or where you have projected this emotional energy in your life. For some of you guys, you project this emotional energy into your home and don't even realize it, or you project it into your finances um, or your job and don't even realize it. It just started pouring. And then we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, really overcoming the stagnancy of your emotions, especially in regards to this particular soul. Um, let's go ahead here and get you guys... A card here to show you how you connect, how you can best connect to the spirit, to the soul, um, how you can contact them. Okay, and we have evidence of spirit. So for some of you guys, you may have a an item that was this person's, and they are asking you to either remember where it came from or the energy surrounding that item whether it was a gift for you from you or from them to you or um, some of you guys it's just an item that you have that was theirs while they were alive and there's a need to connect to that in order to come into this person's energy I want to pull you guys one more We have intuitive walking. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you may come into evidence. Okay, a lot of this this soul leaves a lot of kind of signs behind, leaves a lot of random messages, may make you come into awareness of the items or the things that belong to them very consistently, and there's a need to pay attention to that, especially if you are wanting to connect to the soul, um, as well as for some of you guys, there is this energy of just being in the air. This person here could have been an air sign or had very heavy air energy in their birth chart, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as kind of Capricorn energy coming in as well with the house and, and the masculine energy, but um, some of you guys doing like meditation walks or things like that um, can help you very much so connect to this soul as well as I'm really seeing this rose so for some of you guys there may be a place that um, was very significant to your guys's connection while this person was alive and that may be a very good place to go to connect to this soul as well so let's pull a couple last cards to see any kind of last messages advice or guidance that the soul has for you at this time Our first one here is stars and timing. Yeah, so there's a very big emphasis on timing. There's a very big emphasis earlier on this kind of energy where they were meant to kind of initiate you into a certain way of thinking, especially about yourself or your own self-worth, or even initiate you into your own kind of strictness or bitterness or anger or control issues um, in order for you to overcome them now. And then we also have Anubis, Guide and Protector. So I feel like this soul is with you a lot. This soul um, a lot of you guys may also feel like somebody's watching you a lot, and, and for those of you that that resonates with, it's definitely this soul. Um, again, there's kind of this guardian type energy, even if it was a spouse or a parent or a guardian, 
Um, there's just this energy of somebody who was supposed to protect you or keep you safe um, that may have sent you away or caused certain control issues with you or have been very controlling while they were here or there was a significant event in regards to that that really stuck with you in regards to them maybe having an outburst or an aggressive um, event but they are are now protecting you I feel they want you to know that they are protecting you in the way they were supposed to or the way you wanted them to um, while they were alive like they are are very heavy heavy protection for you guys they're like completely surrounding you and watching you all the time um, truly trying to guide you especially with this evidence of spirit um, they really want your attention um, and forgiveness as well not only for them but f for you for you in your lifetime they want your forgiveness in order for you to be able to move on into what you were meant to do in your life. So this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number two. If this resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how it resonated. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose card number three, this reading is for you. And starting off here, we are first going to look at the energy of the soul that is coming through for you guys today. And we will shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So we have Matriarch, Mother and Homestead, uh, Rejection, Opportunities, and Consequences. So... This is definitely a female energy, or well, uh, fem I'm sorry, doesn't necessarily mean it's a female. It's definitely a feminine energy coming through, for sure. It could be a mother or grandmother type energy, um, as well as kind of this, it's just this kind of nurturing energy. It could have been a friend for some of you guys. Um, For some of you guys, this could have been a mother or grandmother uh, type figure whom you were in conflict with or whom you didn't necessarily get along with while they were alive, um, at least for a portion of your life. So let's go ahead here and get another card that's going to show us a little bit about this soul's uh, purpose here as well as a little bit more information about who they were we have angel of visions okay so this person was very good at seeing how things would turn out uh, this person was very it's like a very psychic energy a very as well as very feminine energy very high priestess type energy coming in here but there's definitely this energy uh, like this consequences and the visions like there is a very large energy of this person knowing how energy would react to actions that were taken um, and I feel for a lot of you guys here that this definitely played out like in while this person was alive in their connection with you they may have rejected you in certain ways or rejected certain things as well as brought you into opportunities that maybe you didn't take be because of who it was coming from or how it was being presented or because you didn't feel like it was right for you but this person was meant to present something to you in their lifetime whether it was perceived as negative or not, if it was perceived as them rejecting you, um, that was still them offering you a particular energy that you guys need in your life now. There, there's something definitely that you guys are meant to learn from that. So let's go ahead and see what you were meant to learn from this person's passing. Um,
We have the fire spirit. So I feel for you guys that this passing of this person for you um, is kind of an ignition of your own soul or spirit. It, it may have really motivated you towards something or it, it's meant to. Um, it's definitely meant to push you towards something. As I said, like there's a very strong energy here of this person offering you something, offering you an opportunity, um, or or even the energy that they gave to you, whether it had been rejection or you rejecting them, or just some sort of exchange of energy that you needed for right now. And I feel like this person, this soul, while they were alive, they knew, they knew what they were doing and they knew that it had to play out that way. Um, they may have even been somebody who kind of saw their own death coming or somebody who, um, maybe even talked about that to you and, um, or to somebody in their life and it was kind of rejected. Um, I do feel that this person saw their own passing coming before it happened. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get a couple cards here and see a little bit more about this person's passing. We have the Queen of My World. Yeah, this person definitely clearly saw the consequences of actions and how things had to play out in order to get to a certain point, as well as they definitely knew that their passing was coming. Um, and then we have Masquerade. very interesting too because this card up here kind of has this shield over the face. Um, I feel that this person may have hid their passing from either from you or um, if you were the one they told they may have hid it from other people but I do feel like they hid this energy. Um, they hid even if they didn't hide the energy that they knew about their passing they may have hid the fact that they knew that things had to play out between you guys the way they did in order for you to be activated into your own soul and purpose and mission on this life as well as I feel they knew that their passing was the motivation for you in regards to what you were meant to do afterwards that's very interesting um, it's, it's kind of like very self-sacrificial almost, um, but in a nurturing way. So let's take a look at the soul's memories or memories of you um, and get a little bit more information about what they are presenting. We have children. Yeah, so there's definitely a parental, mother, nurturing, guardian type energy coming through here. And as I said, it's almost, it's very self-sacrificial. And with this coming out on top of the Angel of Visions, it's like they knew what they had to do and how life had to play out and what they were meant to uh, exchange with you in regards to igniting you into your purpose or passion or mission in your own life. Um, they definitely knew. And then we have exceptionality. Yeah, and this is this is number 33. Um, that may be significant for some of you guys. Um, but again, this energy of this person may have told everybody except, or may have told you and not everybody else, or even may have talked to just particular people. You also may have felt very left out um, if you had siblings or if this was an actual like mother for you, you may have felt like the, the child that always got left out um, as well. 
even if it wasn't a mother for you, if this is a different soul coming through for you and resonating differently, it's almost like you felt left out in a particular aspect, as well as for some of you guys, if this is like a, a spouse that's coming through, a um, kind of like a spouse that was very nurturing or maybe a spouse who really invested into you or presented opportunities to you, um, you may have feel like you missed out on children or or um, your children may be something that you feel is all you have left of this person. Ooh. And we have youth. So there's definitely an emphasis on childhood or on children or on young. A lot of you guys are this this passing of the soul is initiating you into a maturing of your own soul, an evolution of your own soul. Um as well as for some of you guys, you may be the guardian of a child who passed on um, that you still hold well some of you guys may actually may you may even cover up that child in a sense emotionally um, or kind of reject that the trauma of losing a child is there for those of you that that resonate with that that's definitely an energy here as well uh, that's coming in quite strong now so there's definitely some people here who whom that applies to go ahead and get you guys some tarot and find a little bit more out about what the soul wants you to know. Our first card out here is the Four of Wands. Um, <clears throat> so this is definitely like, for some of you guys, this is a twin flame energy coming in, but for some of you guys, this was definitely somebody that was involved in your home in your stability, in your raising, or you raising of them. Oh. For some of you guys, moths may be very significant sign or synchronicity for you. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, I feel for a lot of you guys, there is this energy of covering up or camouflaging a certain aspect of this passing. Um, this could be rejecting the pain of this passing or not allowing yourself to heal from this or holding on to a certain aspect of guilt or anger and covering it up or calling it something else. Um, but this soul is definitely coming through to lead you towards your stability. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, and as I was shuffling these, I was I was looking at this exceptionality card, and I feel for a lot of you guys there is a memory, a specific memory that you have of this person or of this person's passing that you refuse to look at or reject, and this soul is coming through and saying you need to look at it because it's going to teach you something. And, and the Eight of Swords is coming out on top of this to show me that 
that is really the restriction, the mental restriction that's holding you guys back. There's some sort of um, memory or area of this connection that you don't want to look at, but it's definitely there. For some of you guys, it may even kind of be like a memory that triggers you or affects you in an emotional way, and that may be why you resist it so much, but that's definitely where the restriction is coming from um, in regards to you being able to fully step into this activation of your own soul. Um, Our next card out is the hanged man. Yeah, so there is a need to shift perspectives in the way you look at this passing in particular or this relationship in particular. For those of you whom this is like a mother or a parent or a guardian type energy, I feel there is a need to shift perspectives in the way that you look at the relationship that you had. Um, and, and try to come into the understanding of how, why things had to play out the way they did. And for those of you whom this is a child who passed on, there is a need to shift perspectives and know that it, it's almost like it was divine intervention in order for you, like, this is like a soul lesson coming in for you guys. And then we have death. Okay, so there is definitely a need to transform the way you perceive this passing, the w as well as the way you p perceive yourself after this passing. A need to see the beauty in what you had and what you still have and not the loss. Um, obviously, there's going to be emotions and trauma and, and things to work through healing and grieving in regards to losing a loved one, but there is definitely a big message here. Big message. These are both major arcana cards and there is a need to change the way you're looking at this particular connection um, and, and in regards to the loss of this connection. as well as to not hide it, but to allow the beauty of this connection to shine. Um, as I said, for some of you guys, you're hiding either a particular emotion um, or aspect of this connection or kind of holding on or hiding away certain emotions or memories that you don't want to deal with. And there's a huge need to shift the mind and the perspective in regards to this connection and find the beauty in it. A lot of you guys may say, oh, well, everything was bad except for this, or um, my life is fine except for this. Whatever that is for you is that will be different for everybody. It is a general reading, but whatever that is for you that comes to your mind when I say that, like everything except for, whatever that is, there's definitely a need to look at that from a different perspective to find out what it is teaching you and how to transform and kind of um, come into this evolution of your soul or maturing of your soul. And then we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of not being able to or not wanting to see the truth in this memory or in this connection, um, as well as um, the inability to kind of shift this perspective or to look at it a different way. That's a big message for you guys here. There's a need to shift the way you are looking at this connection. A lot of you guys, again, maybe reject the emotions or the grief of this passing, um, or you 
maybe reject certain events or memories that happened in regards to this passing out of guilt or out of anger, either with yourself or with this other soul. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pull a couple of cards that are going to show us the best way that you can get in touch or contact or connect to the soul, um, especially for you guys in regards to gaining clarity because I really feel that's what this soul wants you guys to do is to gain clarity, to gain vision, to gain insight in regards to the way that things have to play out in order to get to where you're meant to be. first card out is intuitive walking yeah in order to get to where you're meant to be um, so for a lot of you guys you can pinpoint a particular location for some of you guys this is your childhood home <clears throat> for some of you guys this is a particular place in nature for some of you guys this is um, just a just literally just nature um, but that's definitely where you can get into touch with this for some of you guys this is kind of like um, your own feminine energy getting in touch with your own feminine energy in order to connect to the soul and for some of you guys this is connecting working with the energy of Mother Earth um, especially with the matriarch here coming in for the energy of this person's soul, connecting to any kind of feminine or motherly type energy will really help you come into the awareness of where this energy is because I feel for a lot of you guys you may be very blind to it. Um, so Isis or Aset um, or uh, Gaia, Mother Earth, um, I feel those would all be very beneficial energies for you guys to connect to, um, as well as your own intuition in regards to connecting to this energy. I mean, the we have the angel of visions here as well, and there is just this huge kind of high priestess energy, and I feel in order for you guys to connect to this, you have to connect to your own high priestess energy. And, you know, here we have all wands and swords which is all masculine energy um, we also have flower power so a huge emphasis on nature um, and as well as for some of you guys really working with like herbs or crystals or any kind of earth element tools to really help you get into alignment with the energy of this soul. This person could have been an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or had heavy earth sign in their chart, um, as well as that could be a lot of your energy as well, which may kind of be where you can connect to this energy like from your own earth energy um, but definitely an emphasis on your earth energy um, in order to connect to this as well as nurturing um, kind of the earth or gardening or watering flowers or growing flowers or working with herbs and crystals and just this huge sense of connecting to nature in order to come into alignment with the soul's energy that's where this the soul's energy has kind of transformed and um, taken on the energy of it's almost like mother earth coming through here for you guys interesting so let's pull you guys a last couple of cards to get you a few last messages or any guidance or advice from the soul, what they want you to know. <clears throat> we have Sacred Journey. Yeah, again, it's like this person knew how things had to play out as well as how things need to play out in order for you to get to where you're supposed to go, in order for your soul, your purpose to be ignited. It's like they knew, even if what 
what happened was perceived as bad. It's like this person had a soul contract with you. Um, and, and this is the fulfillment of their contract with you, is bringing you into the ignition or maturing of your own soul energy. <clears throat> and then we also have silent wisdom. There's so much. So much like higher intelligence here. Um, this person was very spiritually connected even if they didn't know they were um and those of you whom this is a child coming through um you know they are still very close to that kind of death energy when they're born they are very close to spirit and to unity and to all to universe to god when they are born um And so if that was a child for you, they still knew, like their soul still knew that this was meant to be and meant to be what really initiated you into your journey of finding your own soul or maturing your own soul and healing your soul. We have temple healing here, um, healing your body as well. For some of you guys, it, it may have really initiated you into taking better care of yourself, as well as for some of you guys, if this is more of a mother or a parent figure coming through for you, um, it's almost like you guys are, are being asked to look at the kind of hereditary illnesses or things that have been passed on down the bloodline and focus on healing that as well. That's a message coming out for some of you guys as well here. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number three. If this resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how it resonated. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number four. Those of you that chose card number four, this reading is for you, and we are going to jump right in here. Starting off, we are going to look at this card, and this card is going to show us a little bit about the soul that is coming through for you today, and we will shuffle the rest out as we go. So starting off, ooh, we have Arthur, the champion of Avalon, companionship, nobility, self-realization, strong, strong partner energy coming in here, or spouse, or husband, wife, but very masculine energy, um, very honest energy, very, very reflective energy too. This person taught you a lot about who you are. So let's get another card here to show us a little bit more about the soul as well as kind of what their purpose was here in their lifetime. We have Angel of Mysteries. Okay, so I really feel for a lot of you guys, this person that was here um, taught you a lot more after their passing than they did while they were here. There may have been a lot of reflection and a lot of self-realization, um, especially if this was a spouse or a partner for you guys, but I feel that even as much as they taught you while they were alive, their passing taught you even more than that, especially in regards to um, spirituality or connecting to spirit or um, even a lot about your own beliefs um, may have been very highlighted in in the time around this person's passing <clears throat> as you tried to find clarity. So let's go ahead and see kind of what this person's purpose was here in their lifetime. We have Osiris, heavenly messages.
So this person may have taught you a lot about spirituality in a very passive way while they were here, and as, after they passed, I feel you learned even more. Like, there is a huge sense of... Especially in regards to, like, your beliefs about the afterlife or what happens when a person passes. Um, I feel a lot of you guys truly tried to gain a lot of clarity in your beliefs in that after the passing of this person. It's definitely masculine energy, definitely kind of spouse energy for some of you guys. It could be um, just kind of another masculine relationship in your life that was close to you, but there's heavy, heavy spouse energy here. So let's find a little bit more out about this person's passing. We have perchance to dream. Yeah, so there's So for some of you guys, this person maybe gave up a lot of their own beliefs or even a lot of their own dreams or a lot of their own desires while they were in this life. And a lot of you guys may feel very responsible for that um, and don't, but I feel for, for this pile, this soul still held those dreams as possibilities when they passed, like they, they never let go of that fully, so, so they still feel like they were chasing their dreams when they passed, and they want you to know that. Interesting. Yeah, we have sacrifice. Um, so I do feel like this person, this, some of you guys, this is somebody who was in the military. That may have been where they passed. But I, uh, that, that may not be for everybody here, but I do feel very strongly that this person passed fighting for something that they believe in, regardless of whether it was in the military or whether it was just internal or um, an, an internal or external battle. Like they, they were fighting for what they believed in when they passed away. Interesting. So let's go ahead here. As well as, for some of you guys, this person may have sacrificed themselves in some way, shape, or form for you or for somebody else. Um, even if that wasn't the cause of their passing, I still feel like that energy is very present and it was present while they were alive like they gave up a lot for you or they sacrificed themselves for you in some way shape or form um, so let's look at some memories they hold okay so we have nudity so there's it's a very almost intimate energy coming through here. Um, but this, this soul, it, like, they are remembering you in, in all of your vulnerability, but in the beauty of your vulnerability. 
is really what I'm getting from this. Like there is this sense of like they held very almost I, I want to the word that keeps coming to my mind is tender memories of you. And then we also have buying. So this person may have invested into you in some way, shape, or form as well. Or that you guys may have made a significant purchase together as well. Or um, taken some sort of risk. I feel this person was definitely um, more of the risk taker in this connection. Um, they trusted the mystery. So again, I'm being led back to that message of you guys truly coming into your own beliefs and, and kind of the sense of understanding in the mystery of life after this person passed, as well as for some of you guys, as I talked about kind of the sacrificial energy, this person may have invested into you in some way, shape, or form, or invested into a risk that you wanted to take, as well as kind of gave up what they wanted in order to help you move towards something in a very noble way like it wasn't there wasn't anger or anything around it like they wanted to do that but they they also knew that when they did that that meant they weren't going to be able to invest into a certain area or per perspective of their own life and then we have love yeah so there's definitely a very almost intimate or very deep love connection here and this is definitely how they remember you and they definitely are sending you a lot of love, a lot of me messages, a lot of messages and for a lot of you guys you get them either in the shower or in your sleep for some of you guys when you're in a very vulnerable energy, when you're open, when you're um, not blacked off. As well as for some of you guys, you hold a lot of trauma from this passing in your sacral chakra and it comes out in your financial areas of your life um, and they want you to look at that as well as um, to really focus on opening your heart. So let's get you guys some tarot. We have the Two of Wands. Okay, so I feel that this soul definitely wanted to explore a lot of different things, wanted to understand a lot of things that they didn't know about, or to they wanted to experience a lot of things that they hadn't got to experience in their lifetime here. Like they wanted, they were a very adventurous soul, and they don't want their passing to stop you from taking those adventures still. Um, I feel here a lot of people, a lot of people watching this pile may have kind of stopped going after the things that you had planned together while this person was here. And um, the soul is definitely coming through to, to say, please still do that. Our next card here is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, and this is kind of that financial energy again coming in. Um, so... This soul wants you guys to know that if you take that, if you take that risk, if you step into that mystery and still do those things, still take those adventures, um, it's going to lead you somewhere very beautiful, and it's also going to help you kind of detach from this financial aspect that I talked about earlier. The because it's going to give you a direction to focus your finances. Like don't. It's going to help you overcome and heal this trauma 
at taking these adventures, taking these risks, and going on these adventures out of the love for this person instead of scattering your money everywhere or overspending or not paying attention to finances or not learning what you need to learn in regards to your finances as a way to keep you from taking these adventures because this person isn't here anymore. And then we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, so this is this could have been a soulmate, a twin flame, a spouse, a partner. You guys may have even been married. Um, but definitely somebody, I'm, I'm just feeling this energy of somebody that you shared a home with, that you shared your, your heart with, that you were very vulnerable with, that you maybe took a lot of risks with, that this is like the person even if it wasn't like a spouse or a, a, part, a romantic partner, this is somebody that you um, opened up to, somebody that you were vulnerable with, and somebody that you like to go on adventures with, um, but definitely heavy spouse, partnership, romantic energy coming in here. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and the soul is definitely wanting you guys to steady your energy and really try to start investing, start narrowing your investments. Um, focus on where you want to go and start um, saving for those things. Give yourself motivation um, in order to kind of condense where your finances are going. Um, and, and to kind of direct where your finances are going. If you have a goal or a place that you want to go or a thing that you want to do to focus on, um, you will be more excited and more willing to focus your, your financial energy there. So that's a big message for a lot of you guys, a lot of financial energy um, coming through. And then we have the Nine of Swords coming out. So for a lot of you guys, you think a lot about this. You, um, some of you guys, this person may have been the one who dealt with all of the finances or handled the finances or was the primary income, especially if this was a spouse or somebody that you lived with. Um, and you guys may get very kind of worried about learning about finances or... Um, for those of you that that doesn't apply to, you may just kind of overthink about what you feel like you lost. You may kind of be in this, this sense of lack and therefore you spend all your money on all of these things trying to fill that space. Um, out here is the ten of pentacles yeah and this is family stability um blessings just structural like a lot of you guys may worry those of you that this is a spouse or a partner or a romantic partner a lot of you guys may struggle with relationships now even if this passing was a while ago um, you may struggle with allowing yourself to be in a relationship now and the soul really wants you to find your stability in your lifetime. They don't want you to stop living your life because they are no longer here. They want you to still go on those adventures. They want you to find that security that you need, that stability that you need. And for some of you guys, you are meant to have children in this life still and, and a lot of you guys may may resist that out of wanting that with this person who passed on. Um, but the soul is saying you're still meant to do that, but you, in order to come into alignment with that, you have to take these risks and go on these adventures. Um, I feel that the soul is trying to lead you to that energy. So let's go ahead here and pull a couple of cards to show us a little bit about how you may be able to communicate or contact or connect with this energy. We have the wonder of colors coming out. So a lot of you guys I 
I feel for a lot of you guys there's like a favorite color coming in here. Um, and and whatever that is for you is that will be different obviously for everybody here whatever that favorite color is whether it's yours or this passed on loved ones that's coming into your mind um, check out the the spiritual energy surrounding that color check out the kind of vibrational energy or the frequency energy of that color and what it represents and what it connects you to because I feel like that is a, going to be a very strong way um, even for some of you guys, an aura reading, getting an aura reading will bring you a lot of clarity, especially with this angel of mystery up here. I feel this person wants you to open up to spirit, to invest into your spirituality in some way, shape, or form as well, and that could be in regards to going and getting your cards read or an aura reading or an energy healing of some sh some sort, whatever it is that you are feeling called to. For some of you guys, this may even be kind of like past life regression or hypnotherapy. Um, I need to be vulnerable and courageous enough to move towards that is, is really what this soul is coming through to, to, to say. And then we have mind focus. Yeah, so there's definitely a need for you guys to set intentions, for you guys to choose a direction and be strong enough to go that way. And as well as for some of you guys, um, you may have a lot of thoughts about this person, a lot of memories or a lot of times where maybe you hear their voice or hear what they would have said in certain situations and that's definitely them communicating with you. Um, and if you can focus on that energy and if you can connect to that energy instead of it just being kind of the spontaneous thing that happens, I feel you'll be able to come into a much stronger connection with the soul. So let's pull you guys a couple last messages, advice, or guidance from the soul that any last messages that they want you to know. Oh, we have cosmic justice. Okay, so there's definitely like this balance that's trying to come in for you guys. We have the Four of Wands, and this is kind of like the 1111 card, the manifestation, like this soul is trying to lead you towards a higher vibration. Um, as well as for some of you guys, this connection that you guys had, or still have, um, but while this person was alive, may have been kind of a karmic connection as well, and their passing kind of balanced that energy and now their soul is trying to lead you towards um, something very fulfilling. Not that this wasn't because I do feel that it was for a lot of you guys. And then we have stars and timing. Yeah, so there's definitely, it's interesting too that there's this Osiris card has the same kind of, it's like, this background of this card is, Osiris is up here. Um, so there's definitely like this energy of this being very kind of divinely guided. And it's almost like this is, as I said, like the past life reading. Um, this is all very connected. I feel you guys have lived together for many lifetimes. Um, and you guys are stepping into a, a kind of newer sense of karma or of energy or of spirituality through this. Like this has been something that's been building up over lifetimes, I feel, for you guys. And now the soul is trying to lead you towards something very fulfilling. Um, Interesting. Let's get one more for you guys.
fertility and creation. Yeah, yeah. You guys, there's definitely the sense of something being meant to be. Um, not that this wasn't. I do feel that this was meant to be, but I feel like you guys have worked together over many lifetimes um, and over many kind of soul lessons. Um, and this is very divinely guided and this is very meant to be. And you guys are kind of stepping into a whole new world now, a whole new kind of rebirth, especially like you guys have experienced so many different aspects of love and of loss over many lifetimes. And it's creating something very large for you guys. And it's like that's in this incubation process right now. Um, so when you feel called to go on these adventures or to take these risks, allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to do that. Um, don't resist it because it's leading you to very powerful, very beautiful experiences that your soul really truly desires. But this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number four. If this resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how it resonated. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.